Hello, welcome to the Wedding Reporter Podcast. I'm Alyssa DeChico, your host, and today we have a really fun couple with us, and they're going to share some cool details about their wedding. We have Abby in Dallas, who recently celebrated six months of marriage, and they currently live in Portland, Oregon, but had gotten married and grew up in Nashville. And they did not typically have or have a typical relationship timeline or traditional wedding. Abby loves grandma core things. Yeah, like latch hooking, diamond art, crocheting, etc. And Dallas is a professional dog trainer and specializes in aggressive and anxious dogs. They both enjoy spending quality time together as a family when they are free and exploring all Oregon has to offer. They dream of owning a farm and growing their own fruits and vegetables and also a gentle farm with animals that have been rescues and a safe place for them to roam free. They do couples modeling on the side for fun. That's so fun. And they love to see all the creative photographer or photographers and their styles with images. There was heartbreak and drama and a, of course, right before the wedding, but if you find the right person, you couldn't be bothered by that stuff. And they are so excited to share their story with everyone. Welcome, you guys. Yeah, thanks so much for coming on today. And I gave a little intro of kind of a little intro of your story and everything, but I would just love to hear in your own words, like, how did you guys meet? How did this all start? How how'd the relationship progress? Yeah, yeah. I'll let Dallas into that one. Yeah. We, okay. Uh, <laughs> we met at work. We were both working at uh, an animal hospital. And yeah, we really just became friends there. And um, one day, Abby asked if I wanted to come and hang out during a thunderstorm. And we ended up staying up till 3 a.m. during the thunderstorm. And kind of we were attached since since oh, that day. Gosh. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. We met at work. And then kind of uh, the rest is history. I love that. Like, (laughs) I feel like if you can hit it off with somebody right off the bat like that and just stay up talking till 3 a.m., just like, you're like, okay, whoa, what just happened? Like, who is this person? Like, are we meant to be? This is so cool. Yeah. So I love that that's how you guys met. Okay. So how long then were you guys dating before the proposal happened? So we were dating for about six months and then I asked her mom if I could propose because I knew we were going to be traveling and I knew I wanted to do it away from Tennessee and so then it was a year of us being together um and then I proposed um yeah so six months I asked her mom and then a year we did actually get proposed my mom knew and she held that secret though (laughs) <laughs> wow. I mean, for six months to hold that secret, like, oh, yeah. wow, that's so, that's so fun and so <laughs> cool. Um, so, all right. So you guys get engaged. Tell us all the scoop on like the proposal and how that happened. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Um, so basically <laughs> I, so our birthdays are super close to each other and my mom was visiting Arizona because I was like, I want my mom to visit so bad because I do not like Arizona. Um, and yeah, so our birthdays are a week apart. Mine's May 22nd. His is May 29th. And Ooh, so in that span, like my mom was visiting. And one of those days, Dallas was like, I want to plan a day. And so I was already like questioning like why. But, you know, he likes he likes to plan dates and things. And so yeah. it makes sense now. But back then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> um <laughs> And so that day was just, I mean, we went to the Butterfly Gardens, which was super nice. And um, then afterwards, my mom, like, kind of slipped out that we were going to go, because I was like, what do you guys want to do for dinner? And my mom was like, well, aren't we doing, like, a picnic or something? And then... And then it was kind of, I was like, a picnic? And I was like, oh, it's kind of nice. Because <laughs> um, I love picnics. And so yeah. I was like, okay. Um, and then we, like, went back to our camper, kind of got ready. And it was, like, a fancier picnic. And so, um, yeah, then we got ready. And Dallas was, like, I could tell Dallas was, like, panicking a little bit because. We were running late. Yeah. We were stuck in traffic. And I was like, oh, no, like. 
we're not going to make it on time. Like I was kind of flipping out. And then, but I mean, we ended up getting there just fine, but we were in Sedona, Sedona, Arizona. And that was like an hour, right? Like an hour ish. Yeah. Something something like that. And Dallas on the road, I could tell like Dallas (laughs) had been acting a little, a little sketch for a bit beforehand. Like he put like a password on his phone and like on the drive, (laughs) he kept checking his phone. I was like, what's (laughs) happening? Um, oh, and funny. I remember during the car ride, I was like, we're just doing a picnic. And I had mentioned, I was like, I was like, um, are there going to be like, will you take my picture? And he's like, what? There's not going to be a photographer. What? And I was like, um, I'm asking if you can take my picture. If this is a nice picnic. And That's then I was hilarious. like, is there be some drinks? Because I'm thirsty. And Dallas was like, yeah, we'll be champagne. And I was like, what? Oh, Why? Oh. Like, we don't even drink. Yeah. So I was like, what yeah. is happening? And so, yeah, in the car ride, I was like, I wonder if something's about to happen or something. But the thing is, is like, um, like the earlier the month, I, all of my TikTok feed and Insta feed was engagements and things. And I was just like, babe, like, when do you think that'll happen for us? Like, I mean, (laughs) not a rush or anything, but like, I mean, is that in the cards for us soon or like what? And he threw me off so hard because he was like, no, we're not there yet. (laughs) And I was like, that's fine. I was like, that's totally okay. I was just wondering where you were at. And I had already had the ring, pr- like, like everything oh was already planned and done. And I'm like, yeah, no, we're not ready for that yet. Yeah. That's so he ideas. threw me off. So I literally was like, this is like a really special picnic, but like, I guess just for our birthdays. Yeah. And yeah. So then we roll up in the car mm-hmm. and Dallas is like, I'm, let me go first. Let me go first. Let me just make sure this is the spot because it's, like, all in Sedona, and it's, like, all the red rocks and, and dunes, and, like, oh, cool. we kind of went off-roading for a bit, so I was, like, oh, my gosh, oh. where are we going? So then he was, like, let me get out real quick and, and make sure we're at the right spot. And I was, like, okay. Because we even passed it. We passed it, and then I, I saw it. it, and I was, like, oh, no, and I had to turn back around. <laughs> and then, you know, we parked, and I was, like, why don't we just run up there to be sure this is the place? And yeah. And it was, and so I came yeah. back down and got him. Yeah, and then we're walking up, and... Dallas. She's in front of me and I'm behind her and I'm like, go. Like And I was like, okay. So then I we walk up this hill and basically Dallas is like, oh no, like I think we're at the wrong I think Because you guys were wrong. like, you're like, you guys were like, what 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 is that? What what's going on up there? And I was like, I don't know. Wait, wait, are we at the wrong place? I literally thought that he wasn't joking. Mm-hmm. I was like, are we at the wrong place? It's embarrassing. Um and there was like a little group of people. And your mom your mom is so gullible. Your mom's like, oh, no, we're at the wrong place. Like, what now is? And then he, and then Abby turns around, and at that point, then I'm, I'm yeah. on a knee, and the oh. photographer was, like, hidden in a bush somewhere, and, and like, yeah. oh, so, so there was, like, those, like, white big letters, though, at the picnic that said oh, married. Cool. So I thought oh. maybe, really, we were at the wrong picnic, and we were about to, like, roll up on someone's <laughs> engagement. I was like, oh, no, we gotta go. <laughs> But yeah, no, that oh, was, man. it was perfect. And it was like literally the middle of our birthday. So it's like oh. April 26th. So yeah, it was that's super so sweet. special. And it was very scenic. It was Lover's Knoll. Which, oh. if you know, in Arizona, there's like Cathedral Rock and Lover's Knoll outlooks yeah. Cathedral Rock. And so, oh, cool. um, yeah, we were yeah. like right on the hill. And people elope there all the time because it's so beautiful. Yeah. And, oh my gosh. Yeah. It was like the perfect time, perfect weather. It, yeah yeah all worked out and the photographer was there and it was oh, yeah. the, the photographer that she wanted in arizona like had already so cool. picked it out and yeah, yeah i thought it was a little oh. sus picking up because i <laughs> noticed some things because i was like why is i was following all these photographers in arizona yeah. like what are you what's <laughs> up and also um i had gotten like a sponsor like to follow this picnic company and that's the oh. company he used. Oh, and I was telling gosh. my best friend at the time all about this. Yeah. And she was like, Abby, like, he already kind of was like, no, that's not in the cards. Like, I don't think it's going to yeah. happen. And her friend knew, of course. And, and she's like, uh, trying to steer her off. Yes. So she's like playing along with the whole thing. Yes. I love that. <laughs> and so I was so thrown off because I was like, okay, like. <laughs> oh, man, um, that's hilarious. Gaslighting. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> But yeah, that was the proposal, and literally right after, we were starving, and then we went to McDonald's, because I was like, I'm starving. 
Yeah. Because it was like little charcuterie and, you know. Right. It was really good. It It was good. Right. Right. But I was like, I need some food. We needed some food. Yeah. 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 We got some chicken nuggets after. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's so fun. I love that so much. What an awesome story. Yeah. You guys are making me laugh so hard. This is so good. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So you guys get engaged. Now we're on to planning the wedding and that whole process. So what was like the timeline kind of like at that point? So you guys got engaged in May and then you guys got married this past fall, correct? So yeah, so we had like a bit of a longer engagement because we okay. were, like, we're across the country first off. Yeah, right. Like, like this is going to take like a whole village to really get together and pull through. But mm-hmm. we actually visited home like two months after we got engaged yeah um because we wanted to tour some venues because mm-hmm. we knew we wanted to do something special with our families in and nashville this tra- oh cool yeah but, yeah, yeah but you came yeah yeah so we we went home or to tennessee in like june or july like after the engagement and started touring um venues mm-hmm. and um what else did we do? Mostly I, that. I mean, oh, yeah. wedding, like wedding dress shopping. Like yeah. Looking oh, for cool. a wedding dress, stuff like that. That's kind of what we planned. And we did end up picking our venue um, mm-hmm. during that time. So then we were able to choose a date and everything as well. Yeah. That's um, awesome. We were, we were both really fresh on like wedding planning and things. Like there had been some things that we had not, yeah. never even thought about, you know? Yeah. Like, we were, like, Mm -hmm. the venue we chose, we loved because it was, like, very minimalistic, so beautiful. You didn't need a ton of decor. Mm -hmm. And, like, tables, chairs were included. And they helped with setup. And so we were, like, set. We're, like, this is it. Perfect. Because other places, like, we were, like, dang, we're going to have to buy chairs and Mm -hmm. tables and, like, the setup for these other vendors that will be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were just, like, nope. We need an all-in-one place and this is it. So, oh like, yeah, fourteen yeah. ten like makes it so easy on you. They so have like such great staff to put everything together all for you, and the yes. setup is amazing. And it's like truly a customizable space too. You can really. I think make something it else that was really it. interesting that they had is that they had, um, you know, uh, planners mm-hmm. there too. Where yeah. Some venues that you go to, they don't have planners like attached right. to the venue. So it's just another hoop for you to jump through. So luckily, 1410 Mm -hmm. did have that. And so that was just another thing that was just like, oh, yeah, this is pretty Mm -hmm. awesome. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, wedding planning. I mean, we started after that. We were like, okay, we've got our venue. That's like the first step, really. Um, And then it was kind of just like. We kind of chilled for a little bit. We We were, we, we started interviewing um, photographers. Mm -hmm. Um. We probably interviewed a handful of them um, and ended up choosing a photographer um, Mm -hmm. at some point along that route. And then we started... um, And her boyfriend was the videographer, so it kind of worked as a team. So, yeah, yeah, we were just like, okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, We were kind of more, like, chill because we were like, we've got some time. And then, like, really, it Mm -hmm. comes up so quick. You're like, okay, all of this work. Yep about to be put put to use um i think like the more challenging things of like the caterer that was hard doing it over like being out of state and trying to pick your caterer because you're looking mm-hmm. at these pictures and you're like okay i hope this food like tastes good so we yeah. had her family do the taste test which wow. that all went really well and they thought yeah. the food was great and so That's we ended good. up um you know going with that caterer we didn't interview more caterers we really just did the one and did their taste test and was pleased with, with how it all worked out. And well, we were really persistent because we wanted to do breakfast. And we so did we one. were like, oh, we love that. Her yeah. that really can like do some very good breakfast because. Yeah. And a lot of places want. wouldn't do yeah. breakfast or you end up going with a restaurant. And- right. I love that. You guys, you said it all like that is such great advice. You're right. Be picky with your vendors Do not have your wedding turn into a family reunion. This is your day. It's about you. Save money by thrifting. I love that. I thrifted so much for my wedding too. And it was so fun. And I still have some of the things just like incorporated into my house now, which is really cool. And yeah, you guys gave such great advice. I loved hearing all about your day. It's really cool because a lot of times I just see these 
photos and I don't get to hear the stories face to face with somebody or, you know, online via virtual call. And so it's really cool. And thank you guys so much for coming on today and just sharing your story and we'll feature it on the blog. And thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in to the Wedding Reporter Podcast. I hope you learned a little bit and had fun today. To find more resources and podcast episodes, visit NashvilleBrideGuide.com for more information. And as always, click the subscribe button and leave us a review. Until next time, I'm Alyssa DeChico, signing off.